what's up? I'm getting tired of saying that I'm excited to bring you cool new things, but uh, we've done it again, and I'm excited to bring you something else cool and new. Uh, been reading some comments about the MetaHumans clothing being a little bit dull. What if we threw some fresh kicks on the guy? Uh, some uh, Nike Jordans, anybody? Fully rigged? Working? Um, assets were 100% uh, free, as I like to do. So I'll just show you those. Pulled them off of CG Trader here. So um, if this is something you're interested in, then stick around. We're going to show you exactly how I did this. Okay, uh, before I jump into it, I do want to say thanks to Darianna Green, uh, John Hemsley, and Romeo615 videos. Honestly, uh, clothing was down the list uh, in terms of things that I was going to look at. Um, I was looking at Quixel Mixer, and I was looking at a bunch of other things. I want to learn Niagara and Unreal. Um, but I was in Quixel Mixer, and I happened to kind of figure out the solution for – it led me down a path, and I, I figured I figured the solution for, for clothing. Um, but – I mainly focused on it because you guys were acting, uh, reacting in the channel, interacting with me and, and giving me some ideas. So appreciate you folks. Uh, for everybody else, keep asking me questions. I do respond. Um, and you know, your questions and your ideas fuel me to kind of hunt um, down, figuring this stuff out. I, I'm, I keep saying it, I don't know anything, but I have a knack for figuring stuff out. Um, and that's what I keep uh, bringing to the channel. So. Uh, let's drive into this. So first thing you want to do is go to CG Trader, uh, look for this free model uh, to download. I believe, whoops, I believe that it's license free. And um, I mean, we're going to use this model regardless for the demo. That's no problem. Um, but I just want to see the royalty free license here. Oh, there you go. Um, yeah, so you, it, you can't resell this asset alone, uh, but you can use it in your commercial projects. Um, uh, you can use your it, in your commercial projects most, multiple times after paying for it. So um, in this case, there's no cost. Um, so we're good to go. I mean, you know, this is a a rehash of a <laughs> of a Nike symbol. So you know, uh, I think there's some uh, probably some rules around that. Uh, so first thing you want to do is download it. Uh, I won't walk you through that. That's pretty straightforward. You're going to get a zip file and then an, uh, oh, actually you won't even get a zip file. You're going to get an object file. Uh, we're going to bring that in, you know, to wherever you store your 3D assets. Um, and then we're going to bring that right into Blender. So um, pop open Blender. If you're not a Blender user, get Blender. You're obviously on this channel because you're interested in this stuff. You want UE4, you want to do all this stuff. Blender is at the crux of it. If you don't have Blender, you got to have Maya. Maya is like 2K a month. Blender's free. I know it's scary, but just trust me, look at me. I picked up Blender for the first time in December. I got a wife, two kids, full-time job, and I'm doing all right. So I think you can do it too. Um, listen to me when I say start off with the donut video and just learn some blender it's gonna it's going to be probably the most important tool in your ue4 experience so just do it okay um <laughs> that was uh that was an interesting choice of words just do it see that we're doing nike shoes uh cool okay so i'm just going to save this file that i have open um and then i'm just going to start a new project i'm going to click on the box i'm going to hit a uh for everything and then i hit the delete key to get rid of all that crap um, what we're going to do is we are going to import your OBJ file that we just downloaded. Uh, for me, that is in my D drive, 3D assets, under shoes. Uh, we're just going to import it how it is, no problem. And it's going to be really, really oversized. Um, so we want to shrink this guy down. We're just going to hit S to scale it. And then you just, after hitting S, you just move your mouse. Um, and then I'm hitting the middle mouse button and sliding around and it changes the view and I'm just going to shrink that even more and just going to get this to a size um, that we can handle. Uh, and again, I just keep pressing S and then moving my mouse um, and middle mouse button to sort of rotate around the object. Um, the other thing we're going to do with the object selected is we're going to hit G and then G will grab your shoe. 
But the, the, the most important thing you want to do is if you hit G, you want to after hit either X, Y, or Z. And what that'll do is it'll pin it to an access. So in it axis. So in this case, um, I hit X and look, you can see it just, no matter where I move my mouse, it only moves it on the X axis, which is what we want. Then it just gives us that controlled move. G is for grab um, and X is for the X axis. And then I'm gonna hit G and Z, move that up a little bit. And that's okay, that's, that's what we want is we just want this thing manageable so that when we uh, import um, our shoes from our meta human skeleton, um, that this is just in a manageable place. Okay, so we're gonna hit save as. Um, we are going to put that somewhere in our, back in our folder under shoes. And we're just gonna call this Nike's, um, uh, let's just call it Nike sized because we know we um, changed the size on them. Uh, we will do that. That's just a Blender file, and that's just so we can pull that up easier later. Okay, the other thing we want to do is we want to um, get our MetaHuman. So open up a MetaHuman project. Uh, I'm sure at this point you've got many going on. I think what it will do is, because I already got the Nikes on this guy, I'm going to uh, make a pair of Nikes for her. So what you want to do is you want to click on your MetaHuman, uh, drag them into your scene, click on your MetaHuman, and then I'm just going to go into the BP. So I'm just going to click on the hyperlink there. In the viewport, I am going to click on her. I'm going to isolate to her shoes. I'm going to hit the magnifying glass. And then her uh, shoes are going to get isolated in the content menu. Um, with the shoes selected, I'm going to right click. And I am going to asset actions and I am going to export these shoes. And so just before I do that, I just do wanna show you what we're doing here. So um, if you don't have the bones showing, so I just double clicked on the shoes there. If you don't have the bones showing, the way that you do that is character, uh, bones, and all hierarchy. So if I turn it off, this is what you're gonna see normally. It looks like just a, a pair of shoes, but with these modular assets, you do need them attached to the skeleton. That, that allows us, because they're attached to the skeleton, that allows us to hot swap them them out and so you're not going to be able to get this functioning properly without a skeleton uh, there's a lot of people that are trying to do this um, without the skeleton and it's sort of breaking everything so just keep in mind that the skeleton is really important here so I'm just gonna go back to character bones all hierarchy and yeah so what we're gonna do is we're exporting these shoes but we're also exporting the skeleton because what we're gonna do is we're going to in blender get rid of these shoes put on the other shoes and then bring the skeleton back in. And that way the skeleton and the shoes are all paired together in one tight unit. And then that allows us to use it the way we want to. Um, cool. Okay. So back to what we were doing, right click on your shoe asset. Um, then you want to go asset actions. You want to export. You want to find a folder to keep it easy. We're going to keep everything in one place. Um, so I'm just going to go to the shoes folder, wherever the heck I put that, 3D assets, shoes, and we're going to leave this um, as is, except we're just going to put something on the end so that we know it's different than the original uh, FBX, and we'll just call it EXP for export. Um, uh, I don't know what else. You can call it whatever you want. Um, save that. And then this little uh, export window is going to pop up. You can leave the uh, FBX 2013 on there. If, LO, if the level of detail or LOD is um, checked, uncheck that. Um, we're not dealing with all of the LODs right now. Um, you know, maybe in the future we can look at a future tutorial on all of that. But for now, anything that you're moving from Unreal to Blender, just get rid of the LODs unless you're really comfortable with how that works okay um we are going to export that as is we are going to shrink our unreal we are going to go back to blender okay so with our nike shoe in here and opened um, we are going to import our fbx we're going to look for the uh flats exp uh, exported uh, that's the one that we exported out of unreal we're going to change a couple of these um, import settings under manual orientation we're going to hit minus x forward uh, z up 
And then in the armature section, we're going to hit X axis and Y axis, primary bone being X, secondary being Y. All that we're doing is we're orientating the mesh or the FBX um, in terms of the camera. There's four or five different ways out there that they say to do this. Uh, um, it's all just around orientation. I find this way works the best in terms of this process. Um, so we're just going to do that. Import the FBX. You can use the middle mouse button, click down, hold that, and you can pan around. If you hit shift and the middle mouse button, you can pan this way. Um, we're going to left click our shoe. We're going to go up into edit mode. Um, we are then going to R, Z, rotate this around. We're going to size this appropriately. We're going to hit G uh, and then Y. By the way, sizing was just S and then moving the mouse. Uh, we're going to hit G and then Z. Move this down some. Yep. We are going to do G. Uh, sorry, escape out of that. We're going to do R and then Z. I'm just going to rotate this slightly over top of that shoe. Uh, that's looking not too bad. Bones in the middle of the shoe. I'm actually just going to, whoops, uh, G and then Y. Get that bone more in the middle of the shoe and that looks pretty good so with that done I'm gonna go back into object mode I'm gonna select our shoe and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a mirror modifier to basically duplicate the shoe on the other side here um, we'll go to mirror oh uh, we're gonna mirror it on the Z I guess makes sense yeah mirror it on the z-axis so here you can choose which one to mirror it on in our case yeah that makes sense the z goes down the middle here so we're mirroring the shoe on the z-axis yeah, yeah yeah okay cool um that's done uh so then we want to get out of there and we want to um what do we want to do next yeah i guess what we want to do next is we want to transfer the weight painting from um, one set of shoes to the other. So just in our top right here, we have this sort of uh, file menu. There's a couple things that we need to do. So if you click Upload Files Retro Nikes, that's just selecting our Nike shoe. We want to add another modifier. We want to add an armature. Um, and then that's just adding into this section here. Under the armature section, we want to go to our object and we want to select Root. And then that's all that we want to do. And so all that that's doing is it's telling these shoes to use this root armature as its um, sort of skeleton. Okay, so we've done that. Um, the next thing that we want to do is again with this selected, uh, we can collapse that if we want. Um, if you left click and drag this, um, while you're still dragging it, hit the left shift button and drag it under the root and you'll see what's happened is basically we've pulled this um, set of shoes under the root bone next to our original shoes with that selected you want to hold shift and then left click your root so make sure that you follow those steps exact if you don't follow these steps exact then um, it's not going to work this thing is super finicky for this um, what we're about to do and if you don't have it selected in the right order if you don't follow the clicks exactly the way that i did if you don't add the modifiers the way that i did your um, whole thing is going to break so if it does end up breaking then just go back and and redo some of the steps okay so the way it should be is your new shoes should have this they should be in their font should be this sort of brighter yellow your shoes should be selected brighter yellow and your original shoes and the skeleton should be selected in sort of this dark orange with that done we're going to go up to object mode we're going to pick weight paint and you'll notice that as soon as we do that your shoes turn to this blue color so if you're not familiar with weight painting basically all that weight painting is is it's uh, a system that allows us to tell a mesh how connected it is to a skeletal bone and they do that on basically a heat map the heat map goes from blue to green to yellow to red. Blue being there's no influence from the bone. Red being there's a lot of influence. And what it's basically telling it is that based on that heat map, 
um, and based on a specific bone, if a bone moves, how much uh, does that bone movement affect the mesh? How much is the mesh moving along with that bone? Um, and we'll, it, it'll, it'll become a little bit more clear as we move along here. Okay, so we've selected the weight paints. The next thing we want to do is we want to go up to weights and we want to hit transfer weights. And you'll notice right away um, that it influences uh, our data right away. Um, we're going to go to, um, sorry, when we do that, this little transfer mesh data uh, pops open. And we're going to hit this little triangle and open it up. And what we want to do is we want to change this from source layer selected to by name. And I'll explain that a little bit more in a sec. But essentially, um, that's just making sure that all of the weights are transferred over, um, not just one weight. There's a bunch of them underneath there. So we're going to click off of that, and we're going to double check and make sure that this worked at this stage. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to object mode. We're going to click on the blank part of the screen, and we're going to come back to the armature and just select the armature. With that selected, we're going to go into pose mode. We're going to select this thigh bone, and then we're going to hit R. And if we've done everything right, you're going to see the shoe now is attached to the skeleton, and it's going to move along with the skeleton. If, by chance, you move that and your new shoe doesn't move, you've done something wrong, you need to go back um, load a previous save and follow the steps exactly like I did. If you're not following it exactly, it's not going to attach properly. Okay, if it is working, then at this point what we want to do is we want to file, um, save as, and we're going to save this. And so we're going to say Nike's attached. Nike's attached. There we go. Because um, now your Nikes are attached and that's all working. So at this point, what we can do is we can go up to the flats and we can delete those. And now essentially we have everything that we need. So what we want to do is we want to now export this back out. So the way, the way to do that is um, go back to object mode because we're in pose mode. Select the shoes. Hold shift. Select the armature. So with all of that selected, we're going to go to file. Actually, one more thing before we do that. Click on the shoes, go back to weight paint. In the weights, um, yep, we're going to smooth. We're going to pick all groups, and then we're going to put a factor of one. And basically, that's just smoothing out your weight painting so that when your bones are deforming the mesh, that they're not um, doing it really like in a jagged fashion it's doing it more like smoothed out you can you can go and google um that whole weight painting smoothing and you'll you'll see some examples there of, of what exactly that's done anyways okay we did that um we want to go back to object mode uh actually you know what we'll stay in weight paint mode i'm just going to show you because i didn't explain this to you so um with weight paint selected um if we go back to our shoes here in the vertex groups, if we go down here and we click on, so these are our shoes, in the vertex groups, there's a vertex group for every bone um, in the foot. And this is what we've transferred over. We transferred over the weights and we transferred over these vertex groups for reference. If you click through each one of these bones, you'll start seeing that when you click on each one, the weight painting shows up. So in this case, the ankle, on the left side, you can see a slight, slight weight paint there. So what it's saying is when that bone moves, bend the mesh ever so slightly. If you click on ball, you'll see a very strong heat map towards the uh, front of the foot. So what that's saying is when this ball underscore L is moved, then move the that section of the foot. Um, and if we keep going through these, you can see that the major part of the foot is heat mapped um, to this foot R and foot L bone. Anyways, that's how that all works. Okay, so we're done in here. Uh, let's go back to object mode. Let's select the armature. Let's select the shoes. And then let's um, export this to an FBX. Um, Nike's attached. Let's just call this final. We want to um, only select the armature and then shift to select the mesh. You should have those two in blue. We want to make sure that our transform settings are right. So we want to go minus X. We want to go Z up, Z up. We want to go to armature. Primary bone is X. 
secondary bone is Y. You need to remove add this leaf bone. If you don't remove that, then what happens is Blender puts in an extra bone, and then when you go to import it into Unreal, it says um, the skeletons don't match, and then it breaks everything. Okay, so we're going to pop open Unreal. You can see how many times I've played with this and done this. Um, so we're just going to delete those out. We are going to go to our shoes, and what did we call that? We called that Nike's Attached Final, right? Uh, 7-Eleven, yeah. We are going to drag that in. We are going to, um, if... If the, if the skeleton option doesn't come up and you have this box unchecked, that means you did something wrong. So again, go back, make sure you follow the steps, like for like, don't miss a thing. Um, in the skeleton, you wanna select your original metahuman skeleton. I just know mine off by heart because I've done this a billion times now. But if you wanna know what your skeleton is, go back to the original shoes in the mesh, uh, double click, go in, find the skeleton, get the name, and then make sure that you're targeting the exact same skeleton that you exported. In your import rotation settings, make sure that it's minus 90 degrees. Um, again, we're just shifting this around to face the camera. Um, in your case, create the materials. So you would want to say create new materials. In my case, they're already created, so I am not going to recreate them. Import all, and let's see how this turned out. Okay, so with that done, let's just go in and line up our materials. So this is 1001, and um, 1002, boom, cool. Okay, we got our Nikes in. Let's take a look at these guys. They look really good. Nothing wrong with those guys. A little ray tracing going on on that side. Okay, cool. Um, so then now we want to attach them to our metahuman. Go over here to edit metahuman. Um, we want to, uh, where's her feet? We want to pick these. I think we called it final. Nike's attached final. You got it. Materials are correct. Hit compile and save. And you have these brand new Nikes on your MetaHuman. If we wanted to test those out, I wonder if I got those backwards. Did I get those backwards? Is that, is that the insole there? And I hope I didn't get that backwards. Uh, anyways, I mean, you get it. You can go back and tweak the shoe if, if you think it goes on the other way. It's sort of hard to tell. Hard to tell. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Anyways, you know how. I mean, obviously, just um, if if you want to try the other orientation, then just back in Blender, start with the right foot, the foot that's on the left side of your screen, and and then uh, mirror the opposite way. But anyways, uh, these are in. Um, what did I want to show you? Oh yeah, um, if we wanted to test this out. Uh, I'm just right clicking in a section here in animations in um, uh, level sequence. Let's call this Nike's test. Drag that into the scene on the level sequence um, with the details tab. You can open the level sequence in here. We can uh, take our metahuman, drag her in. We can on the control rig. show you that these are working well. There is, I mean, there's some things that we might have to um, enhance. You can see that, you know, the meshes bleed into each other. Um, but if you uh, deform the mesh, it actually deforms well. That's what that smoothing added for us. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, whoops. working pretty well so you might just have to be aware of that um, I mean that that happens you can maybe realign these um, differently as well 
to line up a little bit better with the, the foot. Um, I wonder if we could do that in the BP itself. Yeah. That's just a matter of, you know, this clothing being sized appropriately or whatnot. So you can play around with that um, however you want. Oh, and that's it. I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you're having problems, you can throw some stuff in the, in the comments and I'll try and help you out. But it's, it's ultimately going to result back to you have to follow the, step, the, the process step by step. If you do anything different, um, it's going to break. So get really familiar with the process um, and then um, it should uh, work out for you. Um, yeah. And then, you know, the last thing is just keep being active in the comments. Um, you know, I wasn't even looking at clothes and I was actually looking uh, at Mixer. Um, and when I was in Mixer, I sort of stumbled into the clothing section and um, because of your comments, I was like, oh, I should spend some time figuring this out since I'm already here. And that's why I did it. So I wouldn't have solved this. I wouldn't have made this video if it wasn't for you guys. So keep interacting with me. Give me some ideas like that and I'll continue to solve problems like this. Other than that, um, I do have a really cool, uh, exciting video on Mixer 2021 uh, coming out, the newest version. So check that video out uh, after this one. Uh, I should be releasing it in the next couple days. Other than that, um, we'll see you around.